What is going on everyone? Got a game of domination on crisis for you today. And uh, this game here, uh, it's pretty old. It was from, wow, I think maybe 12th prestige? 13th? I'm not sure. We'll have to see whenever an emblem comes up and you guys can tell. But uh, I had saved this game in my file share and I had submitted it to Hutch for his engineering win series. And I had really hoped at the time that they were going to eventually use it. But I guess it got overlooked with the hundreds of other video submissions that I'm sure they had for that series. But uh, I was particularly happy about this one because I was using the Spaz here on Crisis, And I uh, have a pretty decent game. But uh, what I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about was something interesting that happened the other day in a game on Summit. Uh, we were really controlling the map you know domination is all about map control you want to hold two flags and the best scenario is to have the opposite team holding a single flag that way you know the area that the other team is spawning in and that is generally what is known as a perfect scenario for domination hold two flags leave them one and you kind of have them spawn trapped and spawn locked and generally the spawns won't flip unless you know somebody pushes too deep into their spawn flag and uh, we were playing this team on summit and uh, I got a a message after the game and uh, that's kinda rare for me I generally don't get messages Oh, well, let me take that back when I do get messages it's usually from you guys uh, who recognize me and you say like wow we got to play together that's awesome and cool and good game that kind of stuff it's generally 98 percent really cool messages saying good game etc but no this guy here he was another 15th prestige and uh, I, I almost went the FPS Russia route and tweeted out his gamer tag to everyone who followed me on follows me on Twitter to uh, maybe send this guy a nice little message but uh, I thought against it and well I just didn't do it but his message accused me of being a camper it said camp much and uh, the entire game I ran back and forth between C and B protecting and holding those flags just like you see me doing right here running in here to B now I hang around quite a bit here in B and some people might consider that camping but you want to know what real camping is I'll tell you what camping is and that my friends is an actual camper somebody sitting in a corner hiding waiting for someone to walk by someone that holds down a particular area is not a camper okay Someone that is, is patrolling, protecting, especially in a game like Domination. It is your job to capture and defend the flags, okay? It is not your job to race into the enemy spawn. Uh, there are times for that, but most of the time it is protect the flag that you have capped. And uh, this guy, his message, it just really struck me the wrong way, you know, because... Sometimes, yes, I do camp. Sometimes. But oftentimes, it is tactical defending. We kind of started a joke amongst the party that night that what we were doing is tactical defending. It's not camping. Uh, I, I kind of consider myself a smart player. I, I don't have the best skills. Uh, I'm not, I don't have the fastest reaction times. So I have to use my head. I have to think about how I want to play. And I have to try and outsmart the other player. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's just how it goes, but I think the biggest thing about this game is if you just happen to be in one place a little too long, you get labeled camper. And uh, it's not necessarily a true statement all the time. So I told this guy he needed to go back and watch that video over again and uh, see if I was camping. He was the one that was actually running to try and get in our spawn to lay down a tactical insertion so he could be back in our spawn area trying to spawn kill us. So if anyone was trying to camp, it was him. He was trying to camp in our spawn. 
but uh, I just thought that was kind of funny and I just wanted to kind of address that in this video what uh, what some people view as camping especially in a game like domination you have gotta look at it as as you're playing the objective in this game you're protecting the flags and by me protecting mainly the B flag in this game by me doing that I've actually picked up not one but two chopper gunners and uh, it's getting about time for me to unleash one of those bad boys and that was one of the things that I wanted to have this on engineering win for was I wanted them to break this down what I did uh, I didn't necessarily cap a lot of flags which is what you should be doing in domination but I defended quite a bit and I defended them well uh, use C4 very effectively and the shotgun since crisis your, your flag areas except for A are very close quarters so a shotgun does very nicely in those particular situations but uh, you know you let me know what you guys think below in the comments and uh, if you think camping is even though you're not sitting in one spot as long as you're in an area too long is that considered camping or is this camping the piano was a really nice calming touch to that clip you know the guys camping in the great outdoors and hiding in the bushes it's just really nice to have a pleasant piano tune playing while you're hiding out in the bushes <laughs> but that is camping what I feel it is and uh, if you guys have different thoughts definitely be sure to share them in the comments below but hey we're getting a new map pack coming really soon May 3rd we're going to get the second Call of Duty Black Ops map pack. It'll be called Escalation. And we're going to get four multiplayer maps and one zombie map. Just like before, we're going to get Zoo, Hotel, Convoy, and Stockpile. Those are your multiplayer maps. And Call of the Dead will be our zombie map. And at this point in time, we know absolutely nothing about these maps. So as more information becomes available, I will definitely do a video on it and talk about it a little more. Uh, I have to say, just based on the names of the maps, I hope we get some animals in zoo. I mean, how freaking hilarious would that be if you're, like, running through the zoo and there's the monkey cage sitting there and some damn monkeys are sh sitting there flinging poo at you? That would just be hilarious, right? And Treyarch has really good sense of humor when it comes to these things. If you look at some of their previous maps, uh, they, they have a sense of humor. You can tell. So you never know. We might get something weird and off the wall like that. But uh, this game here, it is now over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I end up going 41 kills and 4 deaths and not many flag caps, but about 4 defends. So if, uh, if you would, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And be sure to not camp. And I will see you guys really soon. Be sure to follow me on Twitter.